Are you feeling stuffy? Are you having trouble breathing or frequent nosebleeds? Charlotte Eye, Ear, Nose and Throat Associates can help. We're here at Charlotte Eye, Ear, Nose and Throat Associates brand new Uptown office talking with Dr. Jewel Graywood. Uh, let's talk about the symptoms someone experiences yes. if they have a deviated septum or nasal obstruction. So most people when they come in, what they'll typically complain of is difficulty breathing through the nose, mm -hmm. whether it be one side or both sides. Sometimes it's difficulty with during exercise, other times they may have a bed partner that says, hey, you kind of have some noisy breathing coming through your nose. So, so a loud are, breather, right? A loud breather, a loud breather through the nose. That's typically the most, most common symptoms. Okay, and so then they would come see someone like you and find out if they have a deviated septum, then what? What's next? So generally when uh, folks have problems breathing through the nose, mm -hmm. uh, we usually divide them into two groups. There are those who have problems with the lining in the nose, and those are your folks with allergies and sinus problems, and typically you'll use medicines to treat those. And then there are those that have structural issues, so whether it be a deviated septum or the nose is crooked, those are the individuals that um, would come to see me, and th that second group typically we treat with um, surgery. When most people think of the nose, they think of this portion here that just kind of you see on the outside, right. but the nose actually goes far into your head. The top half of, of your mouth is basically your nose, and so the septum is the structure here. The front half made up of cartilage, this white area here has some bend to it, kind of like this paper, and the back half is made up of bone. It's what divides the right side from the left side. And what we're looking at when we're looking at a deviated septum is, is this structure straight up and down in the middle of the nose? And for folks who have just a deviated septum on the inside, typically mm -hmm. what they'll have is a straighter nose appearance on the outside, but this internal structure will be crooked. For others who have a crooked nose on the outside as well, mm -hmm. because of where this attaches, you'll see not only the crookedness on the outside, but the crookedness on the inside. So treatment in this case is surgery? Yes. Okay. And so surgery is, is the treatment because this is a fixed obstruction. This is not something where you take some medicine and it makes it better. Like allergies. Like allergies, okay. correct. So you can think of it if a tree fell on the roof of your house, you're not going to call the upholstery carpet guy to fix it. Mm -hmm. You're going to actually call a carpenter to come in and address the issues that are there. That makes sense. What's involved with surgery and, and are you able to straighten the appearance of the nose as well? That's a great question, yes. So with uh, deviated septum, if it's just on the inside, generally mm -hmm. the surgery itself is done with incisions inside the nose and it doesn't change the shape or the appearance of the nose. Most often if it does involve the outside of the nose and the crookedness of the nose, changing both is what would be necessary and in that case what you're doing is what we call a functional rhinoplasty as opposed to what you might understand or others may know as a cosmetic rhinoplasty. Mm -hmm. The difference being that we're improving the function of the nose. A straight nose is what breeds better. So if it's crooked, we make it straight and it actually breeds a lot better. And why is that so important? Well, the, the nose serves many functions. So mm -hmm. it serves functions to warm the air that we breathe, to humidify the air that we breathe, and to actually allow us to get enough oxygen as we're breathing throughout the day. So for someone who has difficulty breathing uh, through or someone who has difficulty with a nasal obstruction because of a deviated septum, mm -hmm. you can imagine that it's difficult to get warm air in, it can be difficult to get um, humidified air so their nose might dry out, and then just being not being able to breathe out of your nose on a day-to-day -day basis, whether it's uh, going out through your work day or exercise or trying to sleep can uh, can affect your life in That's many ways. That's great. Who wants that, especially when there's a treatment available? Yes. Uh, Dr. Graywood, thank you so much for having us here at this beautiful uptown location. Thank you so much. Thank you.